Welcome to my channel. I saw you in a world. Hey guys, once again welcome back to my channel. I'm here to help you guys with my best subject knowledge and ideas with you. So stay tuned to my channel. This tutorial will be highly effective for aeronautical and aerospace engineering students, especially those who are preparing for competitive examination. Today I'm gonna solve few MCQ questions from GATE 2018 on flight mechanics. If you have further inquiry or requested video, please drop down to my mail to 9489224114 ash at gmail.com. So first question, a jet aircraft is initially flying steady and level at its maximum endurance condition for the aircraft to fly steady and level but first at the same altitude the pilot should four options increase thrust alone increase thrust and increasing angle of attack increasing thrust and reducing the angle of attack and the last one reducing the angle of attack Let's see the explanation. To move faster, the aircraft has to increase the thrust of an aircraft. When we increase the thrust, the velocity also increases as a result the increase in lift. Now, to maintain a steady level flight, the pilot has to decrease the angle of attack for because to compensate the additional lift. So, our option is option C. Next, an airplane requires a long ground roll to lift off on a hot summer days because the thrust is directly proportional to the free stream density, the thrust is directly proportional to weight of the aircraft, the lift off distance is directly proportional to free stream density, the runway friction is high on hot summer days so first you recall they have asked for ground roll to lift off on hot summer days so first recall the take ground roll formula this is a ground roll formula from this formula we can get that when we increase the SD that is ground roll distance what we increase that is weight loading weight get increases but when you see the ground roll distances decreases by increasing the climb angle see it is in the down cl is in the denominator and sg here so if have if this value increases so we will get the distance of a ground roll will be decreases similarly it follows that thrust to weight loading so and we know that the thrust is directly proportional density so this is the only reason we get that so see the options so option a that is the thrust is directly proportional to the free stream density that's what if we require a longer ground roll to lift off on the thrust summer days next comes an aircraft with mass of four uh, 4 lakh kg or 400000 kg cruise at 240 meter per second at an altitude of 10 km. Its lift to drag ratio at cruise is 15. Assuming G as 9.81 meter per second square, the power in megawatt needed for its to cruise is dash according to two decimal places okay so first let's look to the solution what are the given data they have given mass so mass is 400000 kg so from mass we let convert in weight so we let's multiply g with the mass we get as weight so you get as 392400 newton now velocity has been given 240 meter per second then uh, 
altitude has been given 10 km then CL by CD is given 115 now now recall this formula now what we have to find we need to find power so for power recall that P equals to T into V that is thrust into velocity from the thrust we know that W into V by CL by CD we have to remember this formula now after that apply the form values of those uh, components and you get as P equals to 6278400 watt so now in the question they have asked in megawatt so you just mega means 10 power 6 so you just get down to 10 power 6 decimal and you get a 62.78 megawatt in two decimal places so our right answer is 62.78 according to the answer the answer ranges from ranges from 62 to 63.50 so which is in a valid zone next question an aircraft with a gross weight of 2000 kg has a speed of 130 meter per second at sea level where the conditions are 1 atmosphere pressure 288 kelvin temperature and 1.23 kg per meter cube density the speed in a meter per second required by an aircraft at an altitude of 9000 meter where the conditions are 0.31 atmosphere 230 kelvin and 0.47 kg per meter cube to maintain a steady level flight is dash accurate to two decimal places now let's see the solution here are the given data at sea level where the velocity has been given as 130 meter per second at sea level and the pressure is one atmosphere and density 1.23 kg per meter cube and the temperature is 288 kelvin so at when the aircraft is on cruise or at some altitude of 9000 meter so they asked to find what will be the velocity and that point keeping the mind of steady level flight and they have given the pressure density and temperature for the 9000 meter now recalling that at steady level flight we know that the, the both the weights will be same that is ws equals to wa that is weight at the sea level and weight at a altitude will be same so let's we know what is the formula that half rho v square s c l for the corresponding value so what are the common terms s that is same aircraft so the s will get cancelled off that is a span area will get cancelled off from here we can write that v a square equals to rho s v a square by rho a so substituting the values we get as v a equals to 210.42 meter per second so our answer ranges from 209 to 211 so which is an adaptable value next question gross weight of an airplane is 7000 newton wing area is 16 meter square and the maximum lift maximum lift coefficient is 2 assuming density at the altitude is 1.23 kg per meter cube the stall speed in meter per second of the aircraft is dash accurate to two decimal places again here we'll see the solution now given data so what they have given weight that is 7000 newton speed wing area that is 16 meter square then maximum cl that is 2 and the density at that altitude is 1.23 kg per meter cube and from here what they asked to find to find the stall speed so again let's recall this formula that is w equals to half rho v square s c l from here by rearranging we get as v stall equals to root over 2 w by rho s c l 
so now it's very easy only you have to substitute the values on this above formulae and you get as 18.86 meter per second and the answer ranges from 18.80 to 18.90 i hope this session was useful for you guys subscribe to my channel for more updates and don't forget to share this video with your needy fellows bye bye take care